He made millions and millions of dollars a year. Ukraine took care of him. How about China? He walked out with 1.5 billion to manage, and he never did it before. He didn't know anything about oil and gas. He was making a fortune. So where's Hunter? Where the hell are you, Hunter? I sort of hope it's Joe, because he will hear, where's Hunter, every single debate, nine times a debate. That was the president last night asking questions the mainstream media mob should be asking. Never will, of course. Instead, Democratic contenders like, oh, Elizabeth Warren, they're getting cushy pup pieces like this one focused on her skin care routine. Anybody want to know about mine? Uh, meanwhile, over there at Conspiracy TV, Roswell, Rachel, Maddow, Area 51, Conspiracy DNC channel. Well, they're talking and taking an in-depth look at the resemblance between Bernie Sanders and Larry David. Mm -hmm. We have the tape. I am here with Curb Your Enthusiasm's Larry David. No, wait. Oh, Curb Your Enthusiasm's Larry David. Well, here they are together. If, if you become president, you've got to be flying back and forth yes. to play yes. him yes. on Yes, SNL. that's true. It's not going to be easy for me. It'll be great for the country, terrible for me. You know, I'm getting you a good job for four years yeah. and you're complaining. <laughs> They're not related at all. Donald Trump ever get that kind of coverage? No. All right. Uh, joining us now, former White House Press Secretary, Fox News contributor Sarah Sanders, Michael Best, law president, former GOP chairman Reince Priebus. Right, you got to get back in the game. I told this to Mark Meadows the other. I think we need you back in the game. I'm, I'm, I'm appointing you something. I don't know what, but uh, look, you watch what they're doing to the president. Now we're going to have the, the shift show, sham show, impeachment show. That'll end very quickly, expeditiously next week, Sarah. And but this has been every single day. We have our montage. We run it all the time. Impeachment two days after he's elected. Impeachment through 2017, 18, and 19. Now they impeach him over nothing because they didn't get what they wanted from Mueller. But the American people speak out in 298 days. How does this play out? Look, I, I think that it plays out exactly how we thought it would from the very beginning. We know it's been a huge waste of time, uh, a huge waste of taxpayer dollars. And frankly, it hasn't played well for Democrats. Uh, we saw them push every single day telling us how urgent it was to get impeachment done. And now all of a sudden we have all the time in the world to sit back and wait uh, while Nancy Pelosi gets controlled more and more uh, by the far left wing of her party and refuses to send the papers to the Senate. Um, it's been a sham from day one. It's going to be wiped away in the Senate. And I think it's going to be a great day to watch the president get fully vindicated uh, in the Senate and then get to stand in front of Nancy Pelosi and all of her crazy colleagues as he delivers a beautiful and amazing State of the Union and talks about all the successes of his uh, last three years as president. I think it's going to be a great day. You know, let's just for a second, let's look 298 days down the road, ranks previous. And I got to be honest, I, I want everybody in this country to understand what is at stake here. This is America literally on the brink, the America of freedom, you know, the $94 trillion in 10-year new green deal, the $52 trillion Medicare for all deal. We can't afford any of this. But, and I always want to play like you're behind a touchdown, no timeouts, uh, you have down by six, and you need the touchdown and an extra point in two minutes. You're doing the two-minute drill. That's how everyone should look at this election. Well, look at We're behind. But here's my question. Imagine that we get these yeah. words. We can now project Donald J. Trump has been reelected, the 45th president of the United States. They're going to lose their minds. All of them. The mob and well, they're Democrats. Gonna they're but look at this week. I mean, the, the week started on a knife's edge with Iran. Turns out that the president made the right call. Turns out Iran retreated. Then we had a solid jobs report today. And the key middle, wa middle class wage growth up 3 to 5 percent. You know, the same thing happened in 2016, Sean. I remember days on the plane, I'm sure Sarah does too, where the president would open up the, the New York Times and not just find one bad story on the front page, but every day, some days, every single story on the front page was bad. Everyone said he can't win. He's, he's, he's wasting your time. You're, you're wasting your money at the RNC. And on obviously on election night, President Trump 
uh, wins the presidency and shocks the world. So back to the Hunter Biden issue, though. You know, I, I, I think the Republicans might want to consider getting very bold about this. Exert executive privilege over John Bolton. Exert executive, executive privilege over Mick Mulvaney. Call in Hunter Biden and find out what the truth is, because the center of the Democrats' case is that, you know, was it reasonable for the president to ask about uh, about Biden? Well, if that's the center of their case, we'll bring in Biden well, and we find might out. Have a Exert executive privilege over the rest. I want all that to happen, but I Go want ahead. let the House present their weak case. The Senate listens to their weak case. That's their sole responsibility. Impeachment. Tell us why you impeached them. Then call the roll. Get this gone. Then investigate. Uh, Mr. Quid Pro Quo, sure. Joe, you're not getting the billion unless you fire the guy that's investigating my zero experience son being paid millions. That needs to be getting to the bottom of because that's the very thing that I thought they were supposed to be upset about, right? Well, it's time to make them nervous about the games that they're playing today with the United States Senate. And uh, I think Hunter Biden's going to be a big issue. I do think we need to be careful not to play it all of it too early where it gets gets old potentially in the general election but hunter biden should be investigated and, and there needs to be a strategy behind it last word what what do you think about do you agree with me sarah should we just call the roll get this done yeah but then i think they should investigate hunter and zero experience Absol hunter absolutely. and quid pro quo Absolutely. I say we get this impeachment sham over with and out of the way. And let's look into the Bidens. I, I, I think that there is so much information there. Look, Joe Biden has spent half a century in the Washington, D.C. swamp. The last thing we need after President Trump has come in and drained it is to have the Bidens come back and fill it up again. I think we ought to clear the deck get the impeachment out of the way, but let's look into all of the corruption and make that part of the campaign if need be. Well said, both of you. 